Hello friends, my name is Ratham Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic Benefits Management Measurement Methods. Uh, friends, this is a very important topic which we have taken from the PIMBOK Project Management Body of uh, Knowledge and uh, PMI. And this is a very important topic if you are studying project management or you are planning to give, give exam of uh, PMP. So with respect to project management point of view, exam point of view, this is a very very important topic and you will see this topic in the exam. At least four to five questions will definitely be there in the exam which are directly related to the concept of benefits manage, uh, measurement methods. Secondly friend, if you are a professional project manager and uh, working in any organization as a project manager, so you must have to understand that what is the concept of be benefits measurement methods and how to use it in the practical life of project management. So this is very important and mandatory for you as a project manager. So let's uh, start friend, F first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start, benefits measurement methods. Uh, see friend, uh, this is a topic which we have taken from the uh, PIMBOK, Project Management Body of Knowledge and this is purely a topic of project management. Friend, if you just see these three terms, benefits measurement methods, for what? for a project actually for a project we must have to understand that what are the methods what are the method we use for the measurement of benefits of a project friend whenever we are uh, starting a project uh, we must have to understand that each and every project is temporary and unique as per the definition of PMBOK project is a temporary thing which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output or service so two things are very very important in every project project is temporary project is unique okay two things are very important now friend uh, for each and every project uh, we must have to understand that every project whichever we are starting it must have to provide some benefits like for example uh, if there's a project that you want to build a flyover in a city on a particular road so what what benefits you want to know you want to get from the flyover like the traffic uh, pressure will reduce uh, the alternate options will be available for the traffic and um, also it will be useful in future as well when the number of cars or number of vehicles will increase so this will be uh, an alternate way option will be available. So I'm just giving you a simple uh, a simple example of benefits. So friend, whatever the project you are in, uh, you are introducing, whatever the project you are initiating, every project must have to provide some benefits. Another example is that, for example, you are you want to build a mobile applications through which for a bank through which customers can do the fund transfer and IBFT. So what is the benefits you are seeking for? like first benefit is that the bank should not have to focus on the manual processing like every customer can do the fund transfer or IBFT through mobile application so there is no need of paperwork uh, the paperwork will definitely be reduced in that way because all the most of the time people are using the mobile application for fund transfer also the utility bill payment can also be done through the uh, mobile application similarly a same example is that the paperwork is not needed like uh, you don't need to go uh, to the bank and uh, to pay the bills you just uh, open the mobile application and do the payment so this is the very big benefits of a project now friend benefit measurement method is that it employs um, it employ various forms of analysis and comparative approaches to make project decisions these methods include comparative approaches such as cost benefit analysis, scoring models and benefit contribution methods that include various cash flow techniques and economic methods. Friend, whenever we are introducing, whenever we are initiating a project, we must have to understand that what benefits we will get from initiating a project. So uh, nowadays many uh, methods are available like cost benefit analysis, scoring model, uh, benefit contribution methods so many methods are available nowadays through which we can analyze that whatever the project we are going to initiate are we getting the required are we getting the benefits from it or not okay so benefit measurement methods mean 
that basically it's a group of methods which are available to calculate to seek to see how much benefits we are getting if we will initiate a project like for example uh, uh, for example mobile application making a mobile application for customer uh, through which uh, they can uh, they can buy uh, food online for example so this is another example so are you getting the required benefit or not so like cost benefit analysis their scoring models are there so by using those methods you can evaluate you can see that how much cost is there how much benefits are there is there is it feasible is it a good decisions to invest on such projects if cost is very high and benefits are low so obviously we should have to drop such types of projects uh, one of the very big and very important analysis approaches cost benefit analysis friend cost benefit analysis is the uh, benefit measurement method it displays you it uh, describe you that for example if you are initiating a project for example you are initiating a project of uh, through which customers can purchase the food online for example you are uh, making a mobile application so the cost benefit analysis means that you will calculate all the cost which will incur like the cost related to hardware software uh, leak, uh, like uh, resources and resource environment etc so you have to calculate all the cost which will incur if we uh, go for that project also then you will calculate how much benefit you will get from the implementation of project so cost benefit analysis means the comparison of cost versus the benefit like for example if you are uh, you are seeking you are analyzing that for example 5000 dollar cost will incur if we build such type of mobile application and the benefits are for example uh, for example 4000 dollar is the benefits so obviously friend if you just calculate all those factors so it's very obvious that cost is high and the benefits are low so we shouldn't have to go for such projects in which the benefits are lower than the cost obviously friend we will not go so the cost benefit analysis which basically tells you that you will calculate all the cost for a project which will incur and then you will calculate all the benefits which will you will receive from the project and compare the benefits with the cost if the benefits are more than the cost so obviously you can think of a decision to go for that project if the benefits are low lower than the cost so obviously obviously friend it is not a feasible option it is not a right approach for go for such project where benefits are lower than the cost uh, another approach is motherboard motherboard uh, if you just see the term is very dangerous however the uh, topic is very uh, simple like uh, motherboard is also approach of project selection uh, it's a, a method of uh, benefit measurement method in which basically the top management or senior management sits together in a room and they will uh, the um, the opinion from the management is that that we should have to drop that project so kill that project kill that means murder board means that they all will try to drop the project and as a project manager you should have to uh, describe you should have to defend all the queries raised by the uh, from the senior management like ceo cto etc and you will defend that we should have to continue if we should have to go for that particular project so the murder board concept is that the all people will try to uh, convince you all people will try to kill the project and uh, you will try to convince them you will try to convince them that we should have to go for that project the positive aspect of this approach is that friend if any project survive from the murder board so that means it has the potential it has the uh, it has the potential it can grow in future as well so it is very important now the next top uh, ne another uh, approach is the scoring model friend the scoring model is another approach of uh, benefit measurement ma method in which what we do like we uh, we give a score you can say we uh, we uh, we calculate points for every project like for example if there are three projects which we can initiate so we uh, give points to every project for example the project a has five points based on uh, the cost benefits different factors we use and give a score to a uh, project like if for example project a has a score of five 
project b has a project a score of 6 and project c has a project of uh, 7 so the we can you can say for that for example the project having this the highest score we can select because it is better in terms of cost benefits uh, in terms of uh, other factor as well so having the scoring model is another approach of benefit measurement method so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for your time thank you